Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Oh my goodness. This is going to be the most overbuilt knife you've ever seen on this channel. I'm pretty sure this is going to be more overbuilt than another one that you've seen. Oh wow. And I mean major wow. Wait until you see this knife. I have already checked it out. I'm giving you the whole unboxing experience. And as long as I don't get the tape stuck, <laughs> Gosh, this one is unreal. This is the Miguron Arma. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Oh, it's the MGR-603GY, if you really want to be specific. But this is the Miguron Arma, and it is a absolute overbuilt beast of a knife. Would you look at the milling? The milling on this titanium is gorgeous. This is a frame lock. It has a steel lock bar insert. Nice titanium milled pocket clip. And look at this, three quarter, I mean, that is most of the back. That back spacer is titanium. You get a lot of titanium. And let me get you in here for a little bit of texture vision. Would you look at it? Oh yes, it feels so good. And wait till you see, oh, and what, by the way, <laughs> Can I show you how thick this knife is? Look at that blade thickness. By the way, this is 246 thousandths at the spine. And here's the blade. Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh my gosh, this thing is an absolute knife of beauty. It has a gorgeous flat grind on it. And let me go. <laughs> I mean, when I see this knife, I'm just, I'm, I'm sweating just a little bit. It weighs in at 8.64 ounces. So it is not for the light hearted. It's 8.42 inches long. It has a 3.73 inch blade. You have a three and a half inch sharpen length and the, oh, the ergos. And I, let me just tell you a little bit about this knife. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And I'm jumping right to the ergos because the ergonomics are fan freaking tastic on this knife if you have extra large hands this knife will fit your hands just as well and look at this a full size forward choil for choking up in the ergonomics whether you're choked up up here or whether you're holding it back like this they are fantastic and look at this excellent and i mean excellent jipping it grabs your skin it's the kind of jipping that i dream of it has that perfect grab without being too aggressive and without being slidey my thumb's not going to slide off of it it locks you into place i almost forgot to give you a tour from one end down to the other let's get up here nice and close and take a look at this beautiful blade if i'm not mistaken that is bowler m390 blade steel baby and it is gorgeous going all the way down giving you the tour the full tour let's say we'll see the blade here in just a minute there you go in 390 baby and we have a big fuller or a big thumb hole up here and we'll check out the action here in just a second we already know that the finish is spectacular now look at this left and right up and down i mean would you expect anything else it feels like a giant fixed blade it there are there is no movement whatsoever your lockup Let's see if I can give you a good idea. I don't know if you could see that. The lockup's around 40%, and then it is extremely smooth. And then there is your centering, and look at this. So you have the flipper. Oh my gosh, it just comes out. It moves my whole hand with that flipper, watch. <laughs> it comes out with power. Now, you can do the push button. When you do the push button, it kind of forces your finger in between the handles. And the inside of the handles, I wouldn't call them sharp. I would call them very 90 degree-ish and very abrupt. But I have found that my preferred method with this one is definitely the, the light switch, which creates no issues what, whatsoever. And then reverse flick, oh yeah. And I mean, you are flicking out a huge chunk of M390 steel. Oh, it comes out, it doesn't come out fast. It's kind of like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good and it is drop shutty obviously you can see how well that drops look at this oh yes it is such a joy to have this knife i'll give you a couple size comparisons just so you can get an idea of the size of this bad boy but here's some acoustics for you Oh, I love it. Now here's what it looks like next to a QSP Penguin. <laughs> Ooh, 
ooh, that'd be a little brother for sure. And then here is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, one of the most popular knives out there. You can see it kind of dwarfs the para Paramilitary 2. And then for reference, here is the Spyderco Para 3. Now, the knife that I think is my is going now has been bumped down to second largest as far as big titanium chonkers would be the artisan proponent now this one is uh yeah it's a different beast altogether and here's a look at that but width wise is what i wanted to compare them with so if you have a proponent here is your width difference in compare oh yeah definitely so the miguron arma is there's your there's your thickness <laughs> yes the proponent beat Absolutely, without a doubt, it is beating out the proponent in as far as thickness. Now this is a beautiful knife. If you wanna spend an extra doll here and get yourself an overbuilt knife that you can use, it is that comfortable. The, the ergonomics, and that's one thing I really wanna stress is this and besides the fact that it's more of a collector's knife, more for a knife enthusiast, the ergonomics are fantastic. And if I'm looking for any drawbacks, the only thing would be that it doesn't really have a sharpening tool. You can see that the plunge grind kind of disappears right around there. But I don't know that if someone has this, if they're gonna actually be using this to open up bags of concrete or anything like that. But you could, or you could just tie a rope to it and use it as a boat anchor. No, but really, this is a gorgeous knife. And I did have some input from, from someone and they were, they had a concern about when they came down using this as a flipper, how rough this is on their finger. And if I push really hard like this, you can see there are two lines right there. So I wouldn't recommend this being necessarily a push button knife just because that's not the most comfortable thing in the world. It's not hateful, but those lines on the inside are abrupt and not chamfered. But I'm finding myself, I this right here, I definitely use this as a light switcher without a doubt. So I hope you enjoyed checking this out. This is a Migron Arma and they are available every time they become available. And I, I'm like, oh, I need to make that video. I look and they're sold out again. So if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that there are some available, but I'm telling you, after this video comes out, people are going to go and snatch up every one of them. And then you'll have to wait until they come out with them again. And there are two different options. One of them is a more darker handle. And the other one, I, I can't remember it. It might be a more stonewash version or a darker version. There are two, and every time they come back in stock, I look again the next day and they're gone. So if you're seeing this video, you might want to, <laughs> I'll have the link in the description and in the comment section where you can go check it out for yourself because I'm telling you, this is one that you will never regret buying. You will love this flipping knife. Now go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the hive streams right here every Friday night, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.